Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. Take a look at this. Just some of the vaping devices confiscated from students in Nassau County this school year. New numbers show nearly one in four Florida high school students admit to either vaping or juuling. It's really not healthy. Like People think it's not going to do anything to them, but they really don't know the health effects. It's like as bad as cigarettes and people don't understand that. Today, Florida's Attorney General visited Yulee to address this growing problem. Yeah, News with Jackson reporter Allison Henning is live from Yulee High School. And Allison, some students are telling you that this is a much bigger problem that's being reported. Yeah, that's exactly right. And also school officials are saying the number of incidents involving vaping and juuling has more than doubled this school year compared to last. Also, Nassau County ranks seventh in the state in the percentage of students using these types of devices. These are vaping devices confiscated from students at Fernandina Beach High School. These are the jewels and these are the vape devices. More than 200 in all, and that's only from this school year. The vapor disappears in a matter of seconds, and some of the devices look like a flash drive, making it easy for students to hide and use during class. If you had to guess how many people at your high school jewel? Out of 100, I'd say about 80%. Like people who I didn't even think did it, like they do do it, even at school. And a lot outside of school too. Today, law enforcement and school officials from across Nassau County came together before Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody sharing details and what they say has become the most unique issue they've ever faced in schools. To hear that this is the most pressing thing they have faced throughout their careers, I, I believe that is very significant. And I think that's a wake up call for all of us to see what we need to be doing as leaders in the state of Florida to address it. Attorney General Moody will continue her fact gathering mission across the state to learn how kids are learning about vaping, why they're doing it, and whether laws need to be changed moving forward. And from what we heard during today's conversation here at Yulee High School, it sounds like most teens here in Nassau County are getting their hands on these devices from older teens and even their parents and school leaders think a big part of the problem is an overall misconception that these devices are a safe and healthy alternative compared to cigarettes. They all agree, though, that there needs to be more education into these devices for both children and parents to help turn this trend around. Reporting live in Nassau County, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station. Allison, are they finding that students are using illegal substances through these vaping devices? Well, technically everything that comes inside these devices is illegal for the students who are under 18 at these schools across the county and across the state. But law enforcement here today did tell me that they have found uh, THC in the pods that they're able to change out and put into these different devices when they confiscate them from students. All right, Allison Henning reporting live for us tonight. Allison, thanks.